To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. During an era when the concept of separate but equal still prevailed, a group of citizens, including longtime Morrison supporters and philanthropists Edgar and Edith Stern, realized a need for a suburban-style subdivision targeted at the emerging black middle class. They urged the mayor to support the development of an almost 200-acre swath of land near Lake Pontchartrain. Pontchartrain Park probably was perceived as a step up. Uh, you had achieved middle class status. People had five-figure incomes. I mean, you're making $10,000 or more. Uh, something like that. Postal workers, the people who work for the federal government, a lot of school teachers, a few of the black professionals, the dentists, the doctors, the lawyers. Dutch Mario, for example, lived there. They had a golf course and a community center, and all of the uh, playgrounds, and it was like brand new. Some of my classmates uh, had uh, moved to Pontchartrain Park, but uh, my family was like lower middle class, so we couldn't afford to move anywhere. We were just lucky to be living in my Aunt Julia's house, <laughs> so at a shotgun double. <laughs> In 1954, Inez Green and her family moved to Pontchartrain Park. They were among its earliest residents. Her children were pleased with their new neighborhood. They didn't worry. A lot of their friends would tell them about, y'all ain't got no movie back here. What y'all do? Oh, we got the parks. We got the playground. We got three playgrounds. They go over there and play putt-putt at the Gulf Coast. They go over there and play tennis, or they stay home or they go over there and they play football, or go play basketball. Mrs. Green soon discovered that her children had forged close friendships with other kids in the neighborhood. You go and look for them, they're sitting under Mr. Bell of Alice tree, two doors from me, across the street under Charles Allen tree, or they in the backyard playing ball or something like that. And our children are close. They call themselves the Park brothers and sisters. It was a beautiful place to raise children. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection.